So I'm just going to ask you some questions that are just um, a little more general knowledge. Can you explain for us what, what does it mean when the news talks about there being a pandemic? So a pandemic is, um, that typically means a disease that has spread around the world um, or in a number of different geographic areas. Um, it's not limited to one area or one country or one region. Um, so there are, um, there are some diseases that might do better in really warm climates or really cold climates. Um, depending on how those spread, that might tend to be more, remain more local and so not be a pandemic. Um, this is, uh, the coronavirus is something that we've seen really spread throughout the world. Um, and so that's when it becomes a, a pandemic uh, as opposed to an epidemic. Um, and it's not only that it's spreading throughout the world, but that it has, um, that there is a likelihood of widespread infections throughout the world. Um, so it's, it's, it's different from, uh, uh, a, a disease. Um, it's different from a disease that might have spread everywhere, but there's not a widespread risk. So for instance, um, measles is a disease that is everywhere in the world, um, but there's a very effective measles vaccine, uh, and so that limits its spread. Um, so even though there are some places in the world where there are a lot of measles infections, there's no measles pandemic because there are a lot of people who have immunity, um, either through having been infected or through getting the measles vaccine. Great. Um, can you talk a little bit more about um, vaccines, like maybe about like how we get a flu vaccine every year and maybe why there isn't one yet for this sure. um, current uh, yeah, disease? So so the way vaccines work is that um, when you are infected with a, with a disease, with an infectious disease, your body has a defense system um, and it creates what's called antibodies. Um, and those antibodies fight that disease. Um, once you have been infected with a disease, you keep those antibodies. So once you've been infected with measles, then you have measles antibodies for the rest of your life. Um, and most of the vast majority of the time, that means that you won't be infected again with measles. So what vaccines do is they mimic the response in your body that an infection would cause, um, but they do it at, in a way that doesn't actually give you the infection. Um, so a measles vaccine, for instance, would cause your body to produce those antibodies. So it would essentially have your, your body create that defense system, um, but without getting the infection. Now, different types of diseases require different types of vaccines. Uh, measles is a disease that doesn't really change. Um, and so because of that, the measles vaccine has been effective for a long time and is effective um, against pretty much every case of measles. The flu vaccine, I mean, I'm sorry, not the flu vaccine. Um, the flu, seasonal flu, is a disease that does change. And so that's why we need a new flu vaccine every year. Um, because those flu vaccines every year, what they do is they try to predict how the flu has changed year to year. Um, and, uh, and they create a new vaccine based on that. The coronavirus is a new strain of flu. Um, so it is a type of flu that has not been in humans before. Um, that's why we don't have a vaccine right now. Uh, um, and, but the, the good news about coronavirus is about this coronavirus because Actually, there are other coronaviruses, but the good news about this coronavirus is it does not seem to change very quickly. Um, and that means that in all likelihood, when a vaccine is developed, we will not need to develop a new vaccine for this type of coronavirus again and again. It should last for a good amount of time. Um, Great. And do you believe that once they have a vaccine, will this become 
one of the childhood vaccines that people get? Or is this a one time we'll vaccinate the population and hope that it never comes back? So it's a little bit hard to say because we don't, um, you, you know, again, because this is the first time it's been in humans uh, um, it's, it's hard to know how it will evolve and, and what will happen. Um, there are a couple of different possible scenarios. One of the things we don't necessarily know yet is if being infected once with this means that you can never be infected again. Um, but the, some of the different, um, some of the different sort of planning that goes into whether a vaccine is going to be given to everyone, to children every year, is how easy it is to spread that disease, um, how many people in a population have immunity to that disease already. Um, but given the severity of, of this disease, uh, if a vaccine is developed, it seems likely that that would be something that would be recommended um, for maybe not only children, but uh, possibly for adults also.